Hey guys, it's Dell, and we're back with Blinks the Time Sweeper. We are now in the Forge of Hours. This is the eighth world in the game. We're almost done. So yeah, here we go. So let's go ahead and sweep up all this trash that we can find at the beginning. That looks like it's about it. We'll sweep onto this thing, and then there's going to be a cat metal right there. Let's go ahead and get that. And then, I guess I'll just drop down. And then, we'll go ahead and shoot these Octabloons and the Dust Herder. Okay, we're gonna probably need to find more trash to take them down. Maybe we don't need them after all. Well, actually, we do. We have one more piece of trash and we still have to be the Dust Herder, so we definitely need another piece of trash. There we go, that takes care of him. Alright, so I'm just gonna plan out what I should be collecting. There's a bunch of Time Crystals right there that are just all together, and I'm not sure if I can get anything out of it. So I'll just go ahead and sweep up that ball and that that rusty old car. Yeah, I want to get a pause so much. Alright, so I guess I'll go there and then come back here and get that pause. Oh, come on, get it. And then jump at the very end over here and then get a pause. And I guess I'll just uh, work on a rewind. If I can get a rewind, I don't know if I can get one, but... We'll see what happens. Okay, we gotta avoid those molten steel plates. I guess that's what they are. We gotta press on that switch, and we're gonna be lowering the lava level down there. It's going down. Once it goes down to the lowest it can get, we're gonna make a run for it and get that cat metal, but it's gonna come back up, so I'm gonna go ahead and use rewind and get that cat metal. You could also use pause, you could also use slow and then make a run for it. And there's an Octobaloon all the way at the end of this room. We'll go ahead and shoot that down. Here's more pieces of trash next to that switch, which does the same thing as the other switch. Lowers that lava level, only it's on this side. But we don't really need to come back for anything, so we're, we're good. So, uh, yeah, we have to avoid all of these things coming out. You could use, like, pause, or slow, or fast forward to hold up a shield. Ah, I screwed up that combo. But yeah, we made it to the other side. And I guess I'll go ahead and use record and destroy some enemies around here. Okay, well, that golem just formed itself. We didn't get all of its parts, unfortunately. Oh. I... I mean, if I used pause, I probably would have got the golem. That's what I probably should have done. I should have used pause first, and then go up to the golem, suck up its parts, and then, yeah, get rid of that, and then, and then, uh, get rid of all the enemies around here. And we got this, this thing that's shooting electricity everywhere, and that will hurt you, obviously, and it's kind of tough to make it across here because of that thing. I guess I'll just destroy this golem manually. I can't believe I didn't realize I could just use pause, and, I mean, I did know that, I just didn't think to do it. I probably should have done that instead, but oh well, whatever. Okay, I hear the... Okay, I heard the spiker. What? Stop! You're supposed to die and be a loser. Then we gotta deal with that Typhoon Dragon. Alright, that's good. That. But the spiker is still here. I'm nervous as heck. Oh no! A bomb! Avoid it, avoid it, avoid it! Oh, good. The bomb blew it up. Nice. Ugh, I didn't want to click the pause crystal, but whatever, I guess. I guess I really couldn't control what I was going to be sweeping up, but whatever. So anyway, I think I'm just going to go ahead and move on. Just avoid the electricity. Well, here's some time crystals that you can collect. You can even sweep them up from the other side. And you can also see you have trash from the other side, too, so that's cool. Oh, I wish I got the the record crystal so I can get two records, but oh well. Uh, I don't know what to do. Oh, we gotta shoot that target over there. And now we can make it across this lava. And then there's fireballs coming out of the lava, too. Kind of like, you know, the Mario fireballs. 
Yeah, you obviously do not want to touch the lava because you'll get hurt. It goes without saying. There's a cat metal behind these barrels. And then... Okay, there's some enemies on the other side. There's like a bunch of bombs just blobbing around there. Yeah, that's gonna make me nervous. Gotta press on that switch. Actually, I'm gonna go ahead and collect these pieces of gold right here first before we do that. Let's go ahead and uh, go back and press the switch. And that's gonna stop these gears from moving for a while. Again, I really like that those bubbles come out when you press on that switch. It's really cool. Okay, so now we've made it to the other side. And now I just gotta take care of these Octo Balloons. What? I didn't hit him, unfortunately. Okay, there we go. Yeah, I got all these bombs. I'm, I'm still so nervous. I mean, if I get hit by them, then they're gonna explode and hurt me, obviously. But... We could use pause, but I kinda don't want to. I could I can make it across without pause. Let's go ahead and try that. Gotta be careful of the explosions. Okay, there we go, we made it, nice. Okay. Oh. Alright, so here I'm gonna go ahead and use record. I like to use record against the combustosaurs and the water spirits. And of course we got a typhoon dragon. I wanted to clone that ball, but yeah, well, at least we got rid of the typhoon dragon, so there's that. So I'm going to let the recording do its thing. And uh, it's almost down. Alright, now it's just a puny little lizard. And there we go. I guess I'll just sweep up some stuff for some extra gold, and then we'll make it to the gold gate. And finish it off. I probably should have collected some time crystals and get some time powers and before I end the stage, but well, whatever. We got all the cat metals, and we now have 7,769 gold. Now let's go ahead and look at our cat metal collection. All right, looking good. So let's go ahead and look at the shop real quick and see what's there. Well, there's really nothing. Just sweepers and spike bullets and outfits as you can wear. Yeah, there's no, like, retry holders or time holders. We already got all that. So let's go ahead and take on Stage 2 of the Forge of Hours. Alright, here we go with Stage 2. And right off the bat, we got a Typhoon Dragon and a Spiker behind us. So, well, let's go ahead and take care of the Typhoon Dragon first, and let's go ahead and take care of the Spiker next. Okay, well... He's gonna recover, and I'll go ahead and blast him away once he's, uh, done rolling out. Okay, he's still got, like, a few more hit points left. I'll go ahead and take care of him after he recovers. And does his stupid move. Alright, there we go. Oh! He's got one more hit, okay. I thought that was gonna be the end of him, but... Nope. Oh, too early. I thought he would be done recovering, but no. There we go. So that takes care of the spiker. I'm gonna go ahead and sweep that up, and then... I think we'll just go ahead and, uh... Okay, it doesn't look like there's any time crystals for me to collect. That will give me a power-up, anyway. So let's go ahead and uh, take care of all these octobloons. There's lots of octobloons around here, and there's two dust herders. Alright, the octobloon and dust herder over there. And then, yeah, there's two dust herders, which means there's two balls that we can sweep up. Alright, we're done with that octobloon, and I thought we'd be done with that dust herder, but I guess not. I guess I should just wait for... Well, okay, I was gonna say I'll just wait until they shoot pieces of trash out. But it looks like that we have enough trash around here to take care of all of them without them having to shoot any more trash at us. Let's go ahead and get those balls. Alright, we only went for one pause because they only have one empty time holder. So we'll go ahead and press on that switch and that will open up these platforms. We gotta 
get on them while they move. Of course, the lava. Then we're on the other side, and then this Tom Tom gang member pops out. And watch this! He's gonna go up there, and then... He's gonna get hurt by the fireball! Wow, he is so pathetic. See, so just walk over here, and then... He's pretty much done for. I don't know why they made him move over to the fireball. That was kind of stupid. But, whatever. So let's go ahead and press on that to stop all these things from moving. Looks like we got another golem right here. I'll go ahead and sweep up the... Well, I can sweep up one of the parts, it looks like. Duh! That was too... too soon. Okay, one more hit. Because we already swept up one of the parts from him. So we'll go ahead and get a retry out that we need one. And then there's a cat metal over there. There's actually another cat metal, like, down there, but we can't get it yet. I mean, we could get it, but then that will result in us getting hurt by the fire, and I don't want to do that. So we'll come back for that later. We'll need a different sweeper to get it. We can sweep up fire with it. Let's go ahead and pause time and get on this platform right here. It spins around. We'll stay on it, and then we'll get that cat metal on the other side. Just stay there. Oh! It looks like it's gonna, like, push you off. But, you know, I'm gonna go ahead and pause right here. And then get that cat metal. Looks like I might have to use pause again. That's why I stocked up on a lot of pauses. Alright, here we go. Right there should be good. Yep. The third time we're pausing. It's a lot of pauses in a row. Whoop, can't see his, that glare from the fire. Okay, so it looks like there's enemies back there. We'll go ahead and uh, blast them. Okay, I didn't get anybody over there. I'll go ahead and sweep this up. Maybe I'll take down the Typhoon Dragon or maybe the Octobaloon. I'll go ahead and take down that... Uh, Typhoon Dragon. Okay, I only dealt some damage on it. I didn't kill it. But I got rid of the Octoballoon. Okay, so the Typhoon Dragon is now going to turn into a tornado. I'm going to wait for it to come back to its original state. Oh, didn't get it. Alright, there we go. We just got three more Time Monsters to go, and then we're set for Stage 2. But I'll sweep all of this up. You gotta get up on these gears, and then... I guess I don't need to use any time powers right here. I see a Combustasaur. I'm gonna go ahead and use Record and blast him away. What is he shooting at? That wasn't the Combustasaur. Alright, well... The recording's gonna play back, and then I'll just sit back and relax and enjoy the show, pretty much. And then I'll go ahead and take care of the rest of him after the recording's done. He's almost done here in a second. Alright. Oh! Okay, I thought I could land like a hit while the recording was still going, but there we go. We took care of him. And then... Two more time monsters. Okay, we got a slow, which is good. And then uh, we'll go ahead and sweep all this up. Alright, let's go. Gotta go up here. Uh, I'm not gonna sweep anything up. But, yeah, I'm, I'm already full on my uh, time sweeper. Gotta platform on these things, and then this conveyor belt. Both of these conveyor belts. And then... Oh, that golem already formed itself. Dang. Wish it didn't, but oh well. Oh! Pow. I guess I'll sweep up everything that's right here, right now. Before they creep up on me, before it's too late. Okay, he like, I thought he like disappeared. Oh, not gonna let him throw fireballs at me. Whoa, I was very close to that electricity right there. That would have sucked if I got killed by it. Oh, come on! Whoa! I, like, kind of did, like, a flip to the 
near the electricity right there. That would have sucked if I got hit by it. Never getting hit by it. I don't want to get hit by it, ever. Leave me out of it. I guess I'll just get a fast forward, I guess. I don't know. Let's just go ahead and finish off this stage. I, I'm done here. I don't want to be here anymore. Stage... I just, just want to get the heck out of here. Alright. So that takes care of that stage. We got two out of three cat medals. We'll come back for the other cat medal because we're going to need a different sweeper for that. So let's go ahead and look at our cat medal collection so far. Looking pretty good. We're almost done collecting all the cat medals. And now let's go ahead and go to the shop. I want to go to the shop before we take on stage three. And I'm going to be buying some spike bullets. This will come in handy. Definitely want to use the spike bullets in this stage. And that takes care of what we needed to take care of in the shop. And we'll go ahead and take on stage three of the Forge of Hours. Alright, here we go. I think it'd be wise to suck up in a lot of pauses to get to navigate through all these bombs. They're just going everywhere. So we start off with those two octobaloons. I'm not even sure how I made it across here alive. I'm gonna go ahead and pause time and then get that cat middle. That way these propellers don't hurt me. Then continue on and blast these enemies. There's a bunch of spikers around here, and there was a dust herder as well. Oh! Don't touch the spike bullet. Never touch the spike bullet. You can actually get hurt that way, so. And now all these spikers are, like, trying to come towards me. It's scary. Whoa. Whoa. I'm out of spike bullets. Ah. Dude, I am, like, nervous. I'm, like, trying my best to like, get out of harm's way. And I'm succeeding, but I'm still nervous, and they're still around me! Like, just die already! Stop dodging everything! You're supposed to die, you know? You're supposed to be this- I'm just gonna go ahead and pause, I give up. Alright, there we go, but we still haven't taken them down. Let's go ahead and sweep up that spike bullet. I see there's a, uh, dust herder back there. Let's go ahead and blast him off. Uh, the spikers come back. I'll go ahead and just finish them off. Okay, it looks like there's just one more. I've got a bad crystal combination, but whatever. There we go. Alright, I think I want to go back for that... for some stuff here. This is some spike bullets that I shut out that I... you know, I missed the spikers with. Now, I wanted to get two pauses, but I accidentally collected that uh, fast forward crystal. That was a close one. <laughs> yeah, these swinging axes, they're really fast. I think it'd be wise to, like, use a time power, like, slow or something. There's a ball right there. Alright, let's go. Alright, so let's go ahead and, uh, I don't know. I don't know what to collect. I guess I'll just get bad crystal combo after bad crystal combo. <laughs> Whatever, I don't really care anymore. And there's a cat metal right there. And then we'll go ahead and... Uh, we can either reverse time or pause time. I think we should, it's better to pause time. Yeah, we yeah pause time here and then you can make it across. Then you can make it on the second floor. We've got a combustor store over there. And I'm going to go ahead and use record for this. But I want to get myself ready. Alright, here we go. These platforms in front of me can actually crumble and you would fall back to the first floor. So be careful of that. I tried to get that, uh, Typhoon Dragon, but I didn't. Okay, so let's have the recording play back and do deal some damage on the Combustosaur. Tried to get that Typhoon Dragon, but I didn't, unfortunately. I really should have got him, but unfortunately I didn't. Alright, there we go. Whoa! 
I got caught by the Typhoon Dragon. I need to move again so I can get rid of him. There we go. All right. Now to deal with this Typhoon Dragon. All right. Now we can move on. Let's go ahead and sweep that up and this ball up again. And just two more pieces of trash. Okay, we have another cat metal. Let's go ahead and go for a pause. Alright, so now we made it to the other side. Let's go ahead and press on the switch. Okay, so that deactivates that electricity thing that's shooting. But it'll resume after a while. Eh, doesn't really bother me that much anymore, so I don't really care. Let's go ahead and blast them again. There we go. Let's go ahead and sweep up these big barrels. Looks like I can get, like, two pauses here. Well, no, just one. I just realized I, that I had a record crystal, or not a record, a rewind crystal with me as well, so, yeah, I couldn't get two pauses. Yeah, I guess I'll just move on. I can either get one or two uh, rewinds. Looks like I'm gonna get one because there's retry hearts here. There's an octo balloon right there. I'll shoot it down. We have one more monster to go, and then that will take care of stage three of the Forge of Hours. I got a record right there. Looks like we got a golem right here. We'll go ahead. And oh crap! We had that big barrel. That's right. I was able to take him down in two hits. Because so we had the big barrel, and then we had, like, one small item that we shot at first. Alright, make sure you have a record with you. They probably should have put in more record crystals before we got around here. But yeah, what you want to do here is, uh, I'm going to go ahead and suck up these big barrels. Use record, stand on this side of the Molten Steel Seesaw, and then stand on the other side, after a while. It, I fell down here. It doesn't matter with the recording, but with the real deal, we gotta make it to the other side. We can't fall. So, here we go. Here comes this platform. It's on the seesaw. And, here we go, on the other side. Let's go ahead and open up this treasure chest. Oh, come on! It broke. There we go. Got some gold out of it. And there's some other gold around here, too. Let's go ahead and collect all that. And then, after we're done collecting all the gold, we'll go ahead and, uh, finish off the stage. Alright. So let's go ahead and see our progress. All cat medals. And, uh, we got 6,304 6, gold. Let's go ahead and look at our cat medal collection. We got prize 7! Those were some nice pictures. Alright, back to our cat metal collection. So we got two other cat metals outside of that. Alright. So that takes care of the third stage of the Forge of Hours. We're going to be going to the shop before we take on the boss. And we're going to be buying, once again, spike bullets. We're going to need to use these spike bullets against the boss. We really do. Alright, so let's go ahead and take on the boss of the Forge of Hours, and that will take care of the Forge of Hours. Now all we need to do is get the rest of the cat medals and take on the final boss, and then we're done with Blinks. So let's go ahead and take on the boss of the Forge of Hours. Alright, here is Giant. 
or Juggernaut 2. Now this boss is actually kinda tough, but we'll do it. Alright, here we go. It's gonna be rolling into a ball, just be on the move. Just move, move, move. <laughs> that was close. He was so close to attacking me. Oh, and there we go again. He was, once again, very, very close to attacking me. He's like a pixel close. That's why you just gotta be on the move with this boss when it comes to his ball form. And he's gonna land on the ground, and then I'm just gonna shoot a spike bolt at him. And then I'm gonna go ahead and sweep both of these trash cans up, and then I'm gonna go ahead and take care of these enemies that ball pop out. I'll go ahead and uh, use a slow, and then I'm gonna go ahead and collect the pause crystals. And get two pauses! So he's pretty much like the uh, Temple of Lost Time boss. But this time, he's a lot tougher. I mean, just the platforms that we're on, th that's rotating everywhere. Gotta take care of that small ball right there. Oh, he's in his ball form. I was about to blast a spike bullet at him, but... Can't. No, nope, I want to get that spike bullet again. Alright, there we go. He's still at it! Alright. Well... Looks like he's going to go back to his uh, normal form, and going to go ahead and shoot him. Alright, so... Back to these small balls again. Going to have to blast them. Oh! And now the platforms are, like, changing. Alright, now i got to take care of that one in the middle. Alright, there we go. Alright, oh, I thought he was going to go into his ball form, but I guess not. Well, okay, let's go ahead and uh, pick up that piece of trash right there. Yeah, I just missed that ball right there, unfortunately, but... Okay, I just, I just want to use- I don't want to use the spike bullets against them, I just want to use normal trash cannons, but I missed again. Okay, there's another one back there. Oh, he's getting closer. Oh, come on! I'll be honest, I am getting kind of hasty. <laughs> I mean, I just want to get him out of my hair! don't want him rolling around everywhere. Okay, there we go. Okay, I got a bad crystal combo, I didn't even really see that. Now I got all these bombs. Is he gonna roll into me or something? Looks like he's gonna do that. Yep. Okay, hopefully he goes into his normal form. That means that'll be my chance to shoot him with the spike bullet. And there we go! That takes care of the boss of the Forge of Hours. Go ahead and collect all the gold right there. I was right on the spot where all the gold would spawn out of. And there's the gold gates. Alright, let's go ahead and finish off the stage. And there we go! That takes care of the Forge of Hours! Of course, there's one more cat metal that we need to get in the second stage, which we're going to be doing in the next episode. We're going to be collecting all the cat metals that we couldn't get. But... We're going to come back for those now. So, see you guys in the next episode of Blinks the Time Sweeper. We'll be collecting all the cat medals.